Welcome to Cardano News Today. In this video, we will talk about how Cardano will possibly be a destroyer for the king of the crypto market, Bitcoin. Exciting, right? Stay with us till the end to know what might happen in the next few weeks. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about Cardano. The energy consumption by green token Cardano is minimal in comparison to those consumed by Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is widely termed an eco-friendly token and sustainable token in the crypto market. Cardano uses fractions of energy from those consumed by Bitcoin for the mining process. To maintain the integrity and efficiency of the Cardano platform, Hoskinson preferred a proof-of-stake protocol for functioning. This is efficient with cheaper fees and instant transactions. Using this technology minimizes the power consumed at the time of mining. And this is the best part for these third generation crypto tokens. We all know Bitcoin is the heartbeat of the crypto market. It was the first cryptocurrency launched in the crypto space. But this first generation crypto token is a bit outdated in its qualities. This is the reason Bitcoin is a bit lagging in the race. However, Bitcoin and its community will surely take steps to improve the platform to survive in the crypto market. But until that, we have ADA competing with Bitcoin in every possible manner. The major quality for which Cardano is competing with Bitcoin is decentralization. Most of us have heard this word several times, but did not know what exactly this word means. Today, we will discuss everything about decentralization in the crypto space. When we compare different cryptos, we normally look at the same crucial factors, like the number of full nodes, ability to regenerate the system, accountability, core principles of the platform. We look at these qualities to believe that the system is working efficiently and all the transactions are completed properly. Once you choose a particular token and perform certain transactions, all the details for the transactions get collected in the cloud system. So you are sitting and transacting on a platform. So thinking practically, we need someone who approves the transaction to get done, right? According to this procedure, we need an individual or group of individuals who are constantly processing the transactions in the dynamic market. Or, there might be people changing over and processing the transactions. The second is an example of a decentralized ecosystem. It is unpredictable to know who these people are transacting at the back end. Such an ecosystem we have when the token has switched to proof-of-stake protocol. That is Cardano and follows a similar trend. Whereas when we talk about Bitcoin, there doesn't exist much unpredictability, as we have the same set of professional miners who are constantly working on it. There is no random who approaches and goes away. There's only a small collection of pools. From sources, it was reported that on mining sites, only 10 of those operations handle more than 50% of the system. So logically, Bitcoin does not have the epic system that we expect in the crypto space. It's the same people who handle and have no newcomers in the ecosystem. However, in such an ecosystem, we do not have any restrictions, but it is not quite decentralized. This is federated and aesthetic, but we have a better perspective of fully being a decentralized platform. On the Cardano platform, there are hundreds and thousands of actors coming in the beginning and forming blocks. There are almost 19,000 nodes on the platform, and this can be extended to in the future. Cardano initially had slow processing and poor performances. But with time and updates on the Ouroboros system, Cardano is now performing appreciably with substantial and slow updates based on scientific approaches which are paying off today with their insane productivity. Cardano will have 10,000 and 100,000 nodes for validation of transactions. This will soon be live with such updates on the Cardano platform. This will result in easier performances that you can never imagine. It will especially be easier for customers. ADA will delegate those tasks to the back end. So if African holders donate, then it will be delegated to African pools and so on. 
Cardano and its community is planning for its platform to run full node capability with future technology. It's almost five years of existence for Cardano now in the crypto market. Such patience and snailed pace upgrades for the platform are only possible for Cardano. We cannot expect such slow and substantial growth by Bitcoin. Cardano has already surpassed Bitcoin in terms of the amount of consensus. Cardano has planned a definite and clear roadmap for its dazzling future. It is still in its third era of updates, named as Gargouin era. This era will possibly concentrate on smart contracts and NFTs. But the next era laid down by the community will highly focus on decentralization of the platform. The last stage on the roadmap, planned by the community as of now, this era would help the platform to make it a self-sustaining system. Here, the community would take advantage of the voting and treasury system network participants like. If you are a holder of Cardano, then you could vote, share your opinion and influence the token. This is the power of voting they are planning for. At the same level, the treasury system would be playing its powerful role. The charges that will be charged by the network from the transactions. It would possibly allow its holders to vote for the money they accumulated, where it can be used to improve the network. This would seek the entire decentralization of the platform and would engage its holders at most for every decision. With this update, we will have the best possible platform in the crypto space. Much more efficient, much more decentralized, cheaper and importantly, sustainable to the environment. A cutthroat competitor to the crypto tokens in the market and probably destroy Bitcoin with its uniqueness and effectiveness. Apart from this decentralization, we have other core qualities of scalability on the Cardano platform. Cardano has a layer called Hydra that sits on the bottom of the existing blockchain. Each head can process 1000 transactions per second. So 1000 heads can process around 1 million transactions per second. This is really huge. The future seems bright for Cardano, not only for Cardano, but for other tokens tool, as CTO of IOHK has a different perspective for the future of the crypto market. CTO believes that the future is fabulous, with multiple blockchains in the world and borderless bridges between different blockchain networks. Cardano and its community are always known for thinking out of the box, and this is what makes it a uniquely fabricated platform. Currently, the CTO explained his views on the future of Cardano and other blockchain networks. He said every blockchain is specialized in different spaces. Some blockchain is specialized in academics, some for payments, and others for healthcare. The future of crypto space will be the interconnections of all the blockchain networks. None of them will be competitors. Rather, every blockchain will be interconnecting with one another for enhanced services. CTO, in one of his interviews, said that one with strong fundamentals like Cardano could be the winner in the race. He exclaims, Cardano is upgrading slowly and substantially, keeping in mind the long-term goals of the platform. He continues that we are launching smart contracts after the existence of the platform for more than five years because they are planning it from scratch. Studying every fundamental and reviewing it through a peer-reviewed approach. This valuable token will probably rule the world with its uniqueness. But the future cannot be predicted as in the dynamic world we can expect a better approach with updated technology and chief qualities. Bitcoin will be there in the crypto market. Ethereum will too be in the future of the crypto market. And Cardano will be staking in the crypto market. Apart from these existing, we will see new versions of the blockchain networks in the crypto space. CTO is bullish for Cardano, but at the same time is a bit threatened with the upcoming blockchain technologies in the crypto market. But it's always better to believe in the powerful fundamentals of Cardano ADA. Charles once said, a majority of the cryptocurrencies in the market are existing without any purpose. But Cardano ADA is having a powerful fundamentals and purpose behind its existence. So yes, 
we can expect the token to crush Bitcoin and skyrocket. Recently, Cardano achieved its all-time high with instant bull runs. This enormous spike in the rates of ADA, performing its best benefited the ADA holders at great levels. Those who invested in dips are enjoying profits like never before. Summing up for today's video, ADA is the best crypto token you will go across. It is capable from every angle to lead the crypto space with its unique and outstanding qualities. Thanks to the dedicated and talented team behind Cardano, ADA has already begun its bull run with consistent green candles and on increased market cap. In no time, ADA will be wholly decentralized and a better choice than Bitcoin. And at that time, people will rush to invest in ADA at $35 and you will turn super rich until that time if you are already an ADA holder. What do you think? Will Cardano successfully destroy Bitcoin? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all for today guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Share with your crypto friends and colleagues.